Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cop Supply YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a broken down overview of Swiss Soul Supreme iOS. This is a very, very popular Supreme iOS bot that has been getting a ton of success recently. So we're going to go ahead and bring you an overview video on how you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Quickly before we go ahead and start today's overview, if you're watching this on the Cop Supply website, which I'm on right now, all you guys are going to do is hit the YouTube icon player. that will take you to the YouTube page that this is being played on. You're going to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new and check out the other overviews if you're watching this on the youtube side of things that is fine we do have a written overview for swift soul linked down below so i highly recommend you go ahead and check that out and finally if you wish to go ahead and check out cop supply this is a server where we have in stock products all the time with discount codes there so you can go ahead and secure them for a cheaper price compared to everyone else on the market then we'll leave a link down below to that so you can go ahead and join for absolutely free but let's jump straight into today's overview so to go ahead and check out swift soul come to the home page i will once again leave that link down below as always and you will see this button, Swift Soul Supreme iOS 49.99 from our store. So you will be buying this from Cop Supply. However, it is a completely verified copy. Let's go ahead and click into it. As you guys can see, it will take you to this page and this is what it's going to look like. You have the previous video overview. This will be updated with the current video overview you're watching right now. And then you have the product and a description about the product. Swift Soul is an iOS bot that will fully automate purchases done on Supreme. It can be used to sign up for drops in store. The standard version will allow you to run eight shopping tasks at once. Swift Soul makes it easy to create tasks by allowing it users to select products from a drop list. Now that feature alone is very useful because you don't have to configure the keywords they do it for you. You can go ahead and select from a drop list. I will showcase that in this video. However, when you go ahead and select from a drop list, it makes this whole task creation process a lot easier. But let's go ahead and add a copy to cart. As you guys can see, I can click go to cart. Once I'm here, I can hit the checkout button to go ahead and check out. And as you guys can see, it's going to take you through a Shopify checkout and it is $49.99. Obviously, go ahead and fill out this information if you're purchasing it and then go to the payment page. So I'm going to hit the continue to payment button and then I'm going to go ahead and enter my payment information here. I've gone ahead and filled out my details here. I'm going to hit the pay now button. Let's give it one moment to go ahead and process my order. As you guys can see, it's gone ahead and processed my order. It shows my contact information, my payment method and my billing address. I'll blur it out for this video. But you guys know I've gone ahead and checked out. If I head over to my email, you will see one email from Swiftsol X Car Supply. It says order 1015 confirmed. If we open it up, it shows that the order 1015 has been confirmed and it will be fulfilled shortly. And we paid 49.99. USD. And as you guys can see, my second email has came in. It says support your Swift Soul account. Let's go ahead and open it up. Swift Soul is the fastest, most comprehensive Supreme bot for the iOS. Click the link below to download, login with this email and password. I'll blur it out for this video, but obviously you would go ahead and open this up on your mobile device. So I've opened up the link from my email. I'm going to hit the accept button. This is on test flight. I'm going to hit the install button. Let's give it a few seconds to go ahead and install here. And then it will pop up with the open button. I'm going to go ahead and open the app. This is Swift So. I'm just going to hit these few buttons first to go actually into the app. Welcome to Swift So. This is a couple of notes about the Supreme mode within the app. Then they have their 24 seven support in the Discord server. This is what the signing page looks like. So you put in your email address and your password and then you will get access to it. So I've gone ahead and filled out my details here. I'm going to hit the sign in button. It's going to sign me into Swift So. I'm going to enable notifications here. And this is what the home page looks like you have the notifications at the top the analytics and the purchases the analytics are broken down into successful checkouts and failed checkouts across today week and all and then we have the purchases of all times so you can see all the purchases over there it says your purchases will appear here so obviously if any purchases do come up there it will appear here in the app moving on to the task section i'm going to come back to this because we actually have to set up tasks but let's actually begin this overview of the app in the settings section. So in the settings section, you're going to see the Discord webhook URL, whether you want to send webhooks, send notifications, come back view, use custom delays. When I actually hit use custom delays here, it's going to ask me that whether I, it's going to ask me whether I definitely want to do this just because of the fact that only advanced users should use this option. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And as you guys can see, I can go ahead and configure my custom delays. Then below that, you will see the terms of use, privacy policy, guides, contact, their Discord and their Twitter. And then below that, there's the AYCD auto source section where you can enter the access token, the API key, then you can enable AYCD. You can test your webhook below that, upgrade to premium. And then you can go ahead and log out moving over to the profile section you can go ahead and click a new profile with the top button in the top right you can put in a nickname full name email address address line one country phone number city zip code state 
and obviously your card information as well so what I'm going to go ahead and do is enter a profile here to be used within the video so I want to go ahead and hit the save profile button and that will go ahead and actually create the profile your profile has been created I'm gonna hit the back button and as you guys can see the profile is there it's test the email is there the card number is there and the card type is there that is to distinguish this profile against others there that you will create on that page moving over to tasks let's go ahead and create a task you hit the plus button at the top and that will go ahead and bring up the options in regards to tasks which are start all stop all delete all the harvester create task add gmail and mass edit so I'm going to go ahead and show you what the harvester looks like so I'm going to click on the harvester and as you guys can see your captures will appear here when you go ahead and create some tasks so let's actually go ahead and create some tasks I'm going to hit the plus go to task creator this is the pre-made section on the pre-made section essentially there's tasks that are already pre-made for you so obviously if you don't want to go ahead and configure some tasks with custom keywords and this is the section for you if you hit the top you can see the other modes such as custom and install sign up but we're going to stick to pre-made here I can go ahead and click on an item that I want I can configure the quantity, size, color, profile, the capture mode, task mode, and the start type. And then once I've gone ahead and done and configured everything, I hit the save task button and it will go ahead and create that task for me. Then it will appear in the task section, as you guys can see in a condensed view. If I hit on it, I can start it, stop it, delete it, edit it, clone it, and I can show the logs for it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start the task here. As you guys can see, the status is going through a variety of sections here. It's going to need a capture. I'm going to go ahead and solve this capture here. Then once I've gone ahead and solved the capture, as you guys can see, it's going to loop checkout error. Then I'm going to hit the task and stop it just so I can stop that looping. But it was looping just because of the fact that it is test data within that test profile. So that is going to go ahead and conclude the updated overview of Swift. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I will leave a link down below. I highly recommend you pick up this app if you don't have a desktop bot. If, even if you have a desktop bot, it gets a ton of success. So it is a very, very good bot to run when it comes to big weeks. You guys can go ahead and check them out. Links down below. You can check the written overview down below as well. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace out.